What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Dion McCauley Custom Designs back with another video. And in today's video, we will be doing an another emoji hat. And as you can see, the poop emoji. This is the one we will be putting on the hat. So let me go ahead and get the hoop and everything else started. And stay tuned, guys. Alrighty, so everything that I will need for this project is right here in front of me. As you can see, we have the hoop. Uh, I think I might go ahead and try to use the spray adhesive. Uh, we do have this water soluble stabilizer. I have some tape. The hat that I'll be using, a cutter roller. So I'll be using this. And we have the cutaway stabilizer. So these are the things that I'll be using. So let me go ahead and get everything set up now and get back to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut a piece to try to just match up. Sorry about that. To try to match this up. I'm going to cut a piece. Um, this should be great. Okay. And just going to cut it down a size. these will always be used for later okay so I think this is a that's a good size and probably cut it down just a little bit more as you can see probably cut it down just a little bit more Perfect. So that should do right there. So what I will do is go ahead. This is the front of the hat right here. So I am going to go ahead and make sure that's the front. Of course, wherever the tag is, it's the back. So I'm going to just spray some adhesive down on the cutaway stabilizer. That should be good enough right there. And let's lay that down. That, that should be perfect. And the reason I'm doing this is because the last time I did it, I used tape. This time, I am just going to use the self-adhesive spray. And then flip it. So now that I have it flipped, I can go ahead and insert the hoop and line it up the best that I can. And of course, where I want it to fit best, just keep lifting it up to see where we're at. Okay, let's bring it down some about right here. This is the top of the hoop, as you can see. So that should be great. That's where I want the design at, right there at the top. So let's go ahead and try to hoop everything. Oh, well, before I do that, also, you want to go... So you want to go ahead and cut the stabilizer, the water soluble stabilizer that you will use or your aqua topping for the top part. Um, so use one sheet and cut another. I'm going to cut another sheet. That's just one and then let's cut the other one. Perfect. That's two. So. Like I said, once the, everything is hooped and set, I'm going to go ahead and start laying this down here. That's one. And that's two. Perfect. 
So let's go ahead and hope that. Find the top. Okay, so now we have the hoop set. Um, it's as tight as it can be. All we have to do now is just put the hoop inside. Perfect. Um, this excess, um, don't even worry about this excess stabilizer. It's okay. So. What we'll have to do on the screen, if you can see it, get the light out the way if I can, if I can, hold on. Sorry about the movement guys, I'm trying to get everything straight. So what we'll have to do is rotate the design. Perfect. And we are going to scoot the design all the way up to the top. I think you can actually place it like that. Um, it's touchscreen, so you can actually move it. But just to make sure, see, the proportions is off, so. We'll get it back to the middle. Perfect. All right. So everything is good to go. Just have to change the threads and then we'll be able to start up the design. So definitely stay tuned, guys. And as always, please, if you can hit those notifications, subscribe to the channel as well as thumbs up the video. It will be greatly appreciated, guys. So we're about to change the threads and everything and then we'll get right into the video. Stay tuned. Coming out good so far. I did slow the speed down. Um, I could run it at a thousand stitches per minute, but I just put it to 800. Um, I feel like the last one I did could have been the reason why the heart has shifted on the heart emoji um, stitch out or patch on the hat. So I just slowed it down a little bit. So hopefully that helps out a lot.
Alrighty, so we are off to the next color, which is the white for the eyes and the mouth. So let's go ahead and do the thread change and get that started. Except for a couple and few minor issues I see, I'm not going to lie, it's coming out great. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below.
and we are done. Perfect, you hear the music. Everything is done embroidering, so you know what that means. I am gonna take everything out of the hoop and show you guys the final result, so definitely stay tuned to the video. So real quick, just for people who haven't seen me take it out the hoop, it's simple. Um, you just push up on here, on these two sides. Um, scoot it back some more so you can see it. But yeah, just push up and pull. And that's it. Just wanted to show you guys that. All right, now to the table. So now we are at the table. So go ahead and take take it out the hoop now. See if I could, there we go. Push it out like that. Take that out and then with this, of course, just rip it. Just rip that off. Looks perfect. Um, it's small areas. As you could probably see, like, like here and here and a little bit over here. But other than that, I think it came out uh, perfect. I think it came out perfect. Looks dope. I really think it came out perfect. So other than that, um, just have to flip it inside out. And of course, cut the stabilizer. Uh, this is glued, so just have to get this up and cut the cutaway stabilizer, which I'm gonna do real fast. And perfect, as you can see, like I said, I said I was gonna do it fast, and hey, I did it real fast. So, final result, depending on how you wanna rock it, wear it. Get these up out of the way. So, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. This is the final result. I could have placed it a little bit more. Let's see, sorry. I could have placed it a little bit more over here. Um, it's no biggie, it's a beanie. I mean, you can wear it how you wanna wear it, basically. Um, so in your eyes, it could be crooked, and other people's eyes, it could be straight. It all depends on how you wanna look at it. But for the most part, like I said, it came out great, looks dope. And yeah, that'll be the end of this video. So. Uh, like I said, I am going to be doing a giveaway, so definitely stay tuned. I will be picking that in the next video, so definitely stay tuned for the next video. And once again, this is your boy, Dion McCauley Custom Designs, and as always, stay blessed and continue to strive for greatness, and I'm out.